so you're all logged into your learning platform. So what I want you to do now is I want you to click on SAS Revision Room, go into the hand and folder, open your SAS blog, and start beginning to gather some information for your revision notes. Having a learning platform in school has certainly changed the way children approach their work. When you set homework with children, they sometimes drag their feet over it, they don't want to do it. But since we've had the learning platform, it's actually enthused them to do more. And I think when children are enthusiastic about something, their learning improves. And this actually certainly shows in their results. The carpal is a female part of the flower. The SATS revision room was built for our year six children to help them through their SATS. Children can access forums and ask the teachers questions, ask and answer questions for each other. They can keep a SATS blog. So there's a lot of functional tools within there, which has given the children a great opportunity to practice a lot of the skills they are actually learning. The learning platform is a great way for the children to have access to resources and also to their teachers and fellow pupils. I like that because you can ask the question and then if you don't know anything, another person can help you and to help you with your revision. The learning platform enables children to post questions that they find difficult to answer on their own. It's easy if it happens in school. The problem is when they're at home. This SATS revision room enables them to post their question. Make sure you check the class resources folder and ensure all work is handed in on time. I was putting on a question in the SATS revision room. I tried to look it up in my revision book, but it didn't have what I was looking for. So I wrote the question in the SATS revision room. Children don't have any hang-ups about posting if they're unsure about something. They're less reluctant using their learning platform than they would be if they were in a classroom situation with their fellow pupils and their teacher. In the past, children have used a search engine to find answers to their questions, and often it confuses the children even more. Whereas if they ask a question in the SATS revision room, I'm recommending websites for them to use, which I feel will enhance their learning. And the people that can answer the questions can be my classmate or my teacher. She answered my question and she um, put up a link for me to go on a website to see what they also had to say. It's easier to understand and stick in my brain because I think it's fun. In the SATS revision room, children aren't allowed to cut and paste, so they need to be able to read a variety of resources, whether that be in their revision book or on the internet, then they need to understand it and then respond to someone else's question. In doing so, they're reinforcing their own knowledge and understanding of that particular topic. They've surprised themselves. The fact that they feel comfortable sharing their knowledge and understanding with each other I looked on it and I seen Anae's question, so I went on to virtual experiments about Earth, Sun and Moon, and it showed me a video of the seasons. You do have to do it in your own words because if you cut and paste and you don't learn anything about the subject, it is good to see what other people are doing because I can help them and they can help me as well. And at the moment we're in Gabrielle's room and Gabrielle has started doing some work on the water cycle. And what Gabrielle has been doing is she's been gathering some information that's going to help her through her revision. Blogs help children prepare for their SATs by enabling them to have a diary of what they've learnt. It's a way of people sharing their knowledge and understanding with each other. One child might type in their blog everything they know about forces, uh, written information, pictures, the works. Another child will come along and do something to enhance that information further and maybe correct some of the information. And the first child is able to access that and again improves their learning. Remember, this SATS blog is for you. It's your diary of your revision. It's a way of helping you to remember some things that you think is going to be important for yourself when you come to your revision. Any questions? I think you'd learn more this way because um, you, you can um, get things from the internet and then put it in your own words and then you, you save it and then you understand it and then you read over it again. The learning platform allows them to give a wide variety of opinions and this process makes the work a lot richer and brings a lot more to the children's learning. I 
been able to do that because at home, it's say if your parents weren't able to help you, you're able to to talk to your teacher. You won't start leaving out questions that you don't know, and you won't give up. Being able to monitor the SATS revision room enables me to identify common areas of misconceptions that the class would have and it informs my teaching because I can go back and review particular topics almost immediately rather than having to wait, say, five, six weeks until it comes up in a test. And then, if I scroll down here, it's share your knowledge. I hope to see the revision room develop over the next few weeks as the children lead up to the SAT. It has been such a success that we're going to extend that. Instead of having a general forum, we're going to have a maths forum, an English forum and a science forum, and even break that down into subsections for specific areas. You actually, you are creating that knowledge together. You are doing it as a shared resource. Um, it's good because you can see how you are improving. You can, and if you feel that if you want to improve more, you can.